Hill custom guitar. So this is my custom seven string guitar from Crow Hill Guitars. The maker, Eric Smith, dubbed it the Beast, and I can see why. It's quite a monstrous instrument. It has two bass strings and five guitar strings with separate outputs for each. The guitar pickups have full splitting capability, and the bass has tone and volume control. The reason that the frets are kind of slanted or angled like this is to accommodate for the tuning scale. A bass has to have a longer scale than a guitar to have the correct tension and everything. I'm running it through a pedal board here. The guitar goes through all these effects and meets up at this stereo looper and the bass goes through the distortions so I can have totally isolated loops and not sacrifice quality or tone. Uh, I run it through two separate amps, a guitar amp for the guitar side and a bass amp for the bass side. It's pretty straightforward. Let me show you what I can do with it. So one thing that naturally lends itself to this instrument is Latin music because the bass notes are adjacent to each other in a 1-5 pattern. There's not a lot of motion involved, but that really covers the sounds that you would hear in a tune on guitar and bass side in a Latin tune. And with the help of my off-camera drummer, Arthur, it sounds a little like this. One, two, three, four. So this is a Chapman stick-like application for the guitar using two-handed tapping. My left hand taps out the bass line and my right hand taps out the guitar melodic line. It sounds like this. So this is how I would utilize the guitar to play a standard swing tune. I'm going to be using the changes from Autumn Leaves. It sounds a little bit like an organ on the guitar side because I run it through this Hughes and Kettner rotosphere and the bass is running clean. So it sounds like this. One thing I really enjoy doing is creating textural loops. Uh, I can make them go backwards or twice as high and twice as fast. Basically, once I have a loop going, I'm then free to play a bass line and record the combined sounds onto a stereo looper, kind of like this. So this next example is a bit of a hip-hop style. I'm going to loop the foundation of the bass line and the guitar part and then play over it. It sounds like this. <laughs> 